Another place where you might see some different changes is what we're calling attachments. So now instead of tapping up here in the menu bar next to our annotations button to edit our song, we'll now be able to tap and see various attachments that we can view for that song. So for instance, right now, we're taking a look at a text version of Welcome to On Song. But if I had a PDF version of that, I could tap on plus, come in here, browse some files. I know one of these is, you know, a real quick test that we use, American Woman, and we can import. And now we'll have an attachment to our song that I can easily switch to just by tapping on it. And so you can very easily have different versions of a song, maybe different keys of a song if you want. Uh, some you might want music notation, uh, score, chord charts, whatever you need for that particular song you can do. Now to edit that song, it's real easy. You just tap on that edit chords and lyrics down at the bottom and your song editor comes up as before. Now something you might notice here is that there is no more uh, what we call conversion toolbar at the bottom of the song editor. And that's because we have a lot of really great tools right here in the attachments menu. So for instance, if I wanted to convert that PDF file to a text file, I can tap and hold on it. And here I get a number of different actions. And this is something also that's new in 2022 is everywhere in the system, there are these context menus. So if you have a list of things, you can tap on them and get this wonderful, beautiful menu and do various things to the thing that you tapped on. So for instance, I can preview that, just bring it up in a screen. I could tap and hold it again. I could extract the text from it, which probably will not work too terribly well, but you can see what it does is it creates a new attachment. So I didn't lose my original text document, but I can switch to the converted version and see it didn't do very good. And if I didn't like that, well, I can swipe and just delete it. I can also tap and hold on that attachment and see its properties. So this is important if you have a number of PDF files, maybe one is in the key of F, one is in the key of C. Uh, you can come in here and choose what key that song is in. Uh, you can also edit the file. And this type field here is used that if you have different types of files that you're uh, storing for that particular song, like for instance, you might have one that's just the orchestration. Uh, one is the chord chart, right? So you don't necessarily want to switch between different versions of that file uh, when you're transposing. Uh, you can type something in there just to keep it separated uh, as well.